take the mirror, mount it on the cleat. Your next mirror is gonna share a wall cleat. So your inside corners are gonna share a wall cleat. And the mirror is up. Now just secure the bottoms to the wall with the screw going into the wall. The mirror should touch the wall freely without any force. So the mirror is up, very little seam, and absolutely no issues at all with the installation. If you go to install your second mirror or your third mirror, and it connects fine freely to the wall on one corner, but it doesn't connect freely and you have to twist or force this corner, do not install it because then you're going to change the integrity of the frame and the mirrors will get damaged. So once again, once you have the mirror on the cleats on the wall, the mirror should freely touch the wall without any obstruction. If there's obstruction in touching the wall and it doesn't reach or you have to twist the mirror, do not install the mirror and find out what's causing the obstruction, if it's warped wood, or if there's something preventing it from both sides touching the wall freely. To avoid any damage to the mirrors, do not use fresh new wood because they will warp. And then once it's installed on the wall, the mirror will contort to the warping of the wood and then it's gonna damage the film. We recommend just using a tiny piece of wood where your brackets are gonna go and not use a full length of wood or use pressure treated wood.